your girl, Minister Ari X, Minister Ari Usain, and I make another video. So right now, I'm in 100th Century Street in New York City, um, and I'm here because of a court case where I'm being accused of things that I wouldn't even do, like I would never do. However the case may be, it is a case that was submitted before a judge in a packet, as I explained yesterday, this thick was given to the judge. Now, from what is to be perceived in the situation from my adversary, from the prosecutor, is that I am stalking and harassing Mr. Passage. Mind you, besides me seeing him once at Polo Ground Towers, I have never in my life one time, you know, encountered any altercation with this man besides the times when he had attacked me or whatever the case may be. So, you know, with that being said, you know, I was in some form victimized because before that I already had reached out to the police and I explained to them that I was actually being harassed and they made a police report about it and it's even a police report about him you know physically assaulting me and even for that he has not even been arrested my court date was changed um because of the matters of the situation mind you I'm claiming for there to have to been for there to have been cameras inside my bathroom which is true for Mr. Bataj not only to have been my neighbor at this house, but also someone who was um, living on top of me from what I assumed at my last apartment. And water, I, I realized this when I had water leaking from my ceiling. Like, it wasn't just any type of flood. The flood was overwhelming. And when I, what made me go upstairs was that I wasn't receiving any help from night shift. When I went upstairs, Mr. Bataj is the man who opened the door. Now, at that time, I was concerned if he had a washing machine or not. So, after that, there was a language barrier because he wasn't answering me or responding to me. Like, immediately when I asked him, was there anything happening in his apartment? So, NYCHA, I ended up asking NYCHA, like, what's going on? And they told me that the man upstairs was a hoarder and that he this is the words that they told me that he had um you know stuff inside his apartment that was covering and blocking the bathroom so he had left his tub on he could not turn it off that's what was the story that was reiterated to me and i've said that in my videos when this when this first started happening like when, when this first came about these have been the complaints that i've made in my videos like my story has not changed so uh, uh like i'm not naturally um mr Batash's enemy like you know God has given you the enemy, one enemy. He's given us all one enemy naturally, and that's the devil. So naturally, I wouldn't make Mr. Bataj my enemy. And if he wasn't my neighbor, I don't mean this to say what offense, he wouldn't be my friend because I see the type of character that he upkeeps, which leads me to know and believe that there is some type of bribery happening. Maybe he is a man that has money. Maybe um, the courts are uh, um, adhering to what it is that he's saying and the lies and the, and the persecution that he's making up. Mind you, this all began because this man knocked on my door and asked me to stop praying. I am a minister. My name is Minister Ari Exercy. I am supposed to pray. And when we cannot pray in this society, I am to meditate on Jesus. That's what the word of God says. Amen. Like I cannot do but what I was created to do despite what is um, desire of me. I did not create myself. Now, if I created myself, then I'll be able to, you know, adhere and adjust the things that are already created inside of me. But being as though that's not why that's not my design to recreate myself or to create myself. You know, I have to give glory to the God that created me and that is the most high God who sits high above the heavens and who glory above us above the nation. I don't mean to offend nobody. And I don't mean to be ended up in a hundred syndicate at court because my prayers are well as much the God I'm not perfect. But I desire to be righteous. It says in the word of God that the prayers of the righteous avail it much. No, I'm not perfect. It does not say the prayers of the perfect avail it much. To be righteous is just to submit to your flaws and your sins before a God who is good. Nobody is good. Nobody is perfect. We are good because God said that we created us. He created us we, but that, to be good. But we were born into sin and that's why. A lot of us need God. Some people don't need God. Some people don't need a higher calling. Some people don't have, you know, it's, it's, your choice. I'm not somebody. Jesus was not sent to the world to condemn the world. So what makes you think that God created me to be some type of con con condemner? Judgment is set for a day, okay? Because he knew that men will fail, that the earth will fail, and that characters will fail, and that we wouldn't be able to rely and trust, you know, the word of men in many high places. So that's why God set judgment for a day. I don't mean to offend nobody when I say this is just the truth. This is just is is, is people don't want to hear this. That's why y'all didn't like, you know, who y'all didn't like Donald Trump because although y'all did not want to hear it, it was the facts 
of the matter to the point where the man had to call it alternative facts because y'all didn't want to acknowledge the reality of things. So we have to remember that God is a good God who sits high above the heavens and his glory is far above the nations. That's not something that I deserve to be arrested for because God is good. God is the reason why the earth is in its place, why the waters have not over, over, uh, over swept their boundaries, why the sky is in the sky and the sea stays in the sea, why the air is in the air. God is a good God. His glory is high above the heavens. He sits far above all these nations. So I don't know what anybody thinks. I don't know what nobody is assuming, but I'm just telling you that it's not like people who try to make issues and problems with God. And that's when you get defeated. That's when you become, when you when your fight is against the Lord God Almighty, who said, "Let there be," and there was the earth. I love science. I am a scientist, a ghetto scientist, as we proclaim. But at the end of the day, you gotta remember that there is a reality, okay? And the reality of things is that the earth did not begin with a big thing, but that's a, a, a big thing. But that is surely how. And God is good. I love you. It's your girl, Minister Ari, ex-minister Ari, you saying, but do what you gotta do for you.